Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to the Alphabet Challenge. We are on Y and we are playing Yasuo, donated by Baker Street. We're not having a great time. We are on a four game loss streak. Two of those games are playing a Zareth game. Um, but yeah, we're against League of Duo Q. Duo Q mid, uh, sorry, Duo Q jungle top, Duo Q bot lane. No duos on our team. Again, that should not be allowed at all, but apparently it is. Um, we've got a Shen, which is a bit unique in Modern League. He's also running Ignite against a Lowie. Brand Jungle. I liked, obviously, he picked Brand Jungle really early. I like that, because obviously I'm playing an AD mid laner, so it means we still have an AP carry. Um, Yasuo versus Vlad. Statistically, a bad win rate matchup for Yasuo. Um, quite a bad, bad win rate matchup too, if you care about the individual win rates. Again, individual win rates, I would say always never look into them a lot. Because again, the premise of a 1v1 win rate, Yasuo versus Vlad, you know, Yasuo has got a 46% win rate against Vlad. But the problem is, it's not a 1v1. You're with four other players on your team and four other players on their team. So it's it's a bit, it's it's not a perfect way to determine how a matchup goes. But yeah. <laughs> The road to ruin is shorter than you think. So Rakan is obviously a great knock-up thing for me. I like the idea of our engage from far, like Rakan into an engage, gets a knock-up into a Yasuo, and then brand obviously over the top, but then a Shen probably ulting on me as a as a Yasuo. That sounds pretty good. That sounds like a not bad combo. Caitlyn, I think, has lost quite a bit of power compared to a few uh, weeks or months ago. But, you know, we're very all-in in the middle combo, and then Caitlyn, in theory, can do damage over the top. The only problem that you've got will Talon just go around the fight and just go and one-shot our Caitlyn, because she's not going to get protection this game, because her can has to go in. So her can can't focus really on protecting the Caitlyn. So that might make the Kite Caitlyn very vulnerable. Jen started Doran's Blade, by the way. Damn. Aggressive. My a long time. He's tanking minions. So when he gets an empowered Q, obviously, don't be near him. Just taking free damage for no reason. Who's that jungler? Talon. Okay. If you stay roughly in the middle of the lane, it's harder for a Talon to get on you at the right time. He's missing a more farm than I am by pushing it in, but it's high risk to be pushing it in because it does invite Talon to come here. All right, Shen went for his Ignite play. Doesn't get a kill, but he got a Lowey Flash. My bot lane is being mega pushed in. But that'll be because it's an Ezreal who can poke and the Mage. And Rakan will struggle into that lane because of just how much... Um, Russia, the Velkos can offer versus a Rakan. We've not seen Talon at all yet, by the way. Aha, he's bot lane. Well, bot lane's off to a bad start.
I don't actually know if my wind wall will block Vlad's Q. Because it's technically, I think, like, always attached to him. So I don't think it's a projectile. So I don't think it will. Right? We're winning good on farm. Because Vlad is not feeling... Like, he's not comfortable with how much I'm pushing in. Because he's missing a bunch, which is good. That's a dead Alawi. I actually don't know what just happened. I think it went through, but my passive shield blocked, like, most of the damage taken. Yeah, my wind wall does not stop his Q. That's a bummer. Did Senna get hotfix nerfed? I don't think so. He should be, but... Someone check Freak Solo Q account. <laughs> if he's been spamming Senna, I'm not surprised. Is he roaming mid or are they doing dragon? But yeah, like I said a few videos ago, potentially, like there is no way in hell, like zero chance that they act actively tested that center change. There, there's just no way. One game of in play test of that would have been like, oh yeah, this is this is not this is not good. Huh? Why'd you do that? That's a pretty weird. That was a weird Vlad ult. No more running. Genuinely, he lost quite a lot of pressure for ulting for no reason there. Follow the wind, but watch it back. Rakan staying bot, huh? We're so, like Shen's gone full damage long swords. Well, Rakan moved. Sorry, no, Rakan didn't move, and obviously, thing he did, so we were outnumbered the whole fight. Feels bad. That's an example of Rakan definitely should move because they're not gonna put. That's the benefit of playing Ezreal bot. He's the best by himself in bot lane. So the fact that Rakan doesn't move there, and Velkos does. Eh. The enemy team just gains so much. No one is promised tomorrow. It's not good, huh? I think if they kill the Ezreal, you know, you could say, oh, it's not too bad, but they're just probably not going to kill the Ezreal, let's be honest. But yeah, Shen's building damage. Not ideal. Caitlyn died. No. Damn. People keep running into my blade. Well, that would have been all right if Caitlyn just didn't die, but yeah. Game is rough. This game is rough. We're doing all right as Yasuo, though. Not bad. Couldn't get him. Couldn't get to him. Can't tell, like sometimes like you can get a pretty early read. Oh. Oh, I 
this game. So my bot lane once a <laughs> my bot lane is 2v1 versus Ezreal and legit get killed in 2v1. And I'm against three people in mid lane. Why? Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's nothing I can do. I don't know, like, what the hell's happened, but like, it's just going. This this uh, was going really good. I think we'll still have a positive win rate overall on the alphabet challenge. But this it was going really good, and I don't know what the hell. Like, it's just completely fallen apart. I just can't get wins. Guy's a bit cocky. Got revenge on you coming mid. Talon's there. Rakan, I will say he's doing a really bad job with actively playing as a modern support, if you will. Oh, is Talon below me? This Rakan should be roaming. They're not punishing the Ezreal in a 2v1. They're dying in 2v1, so the Rakan may as well roam. No, Khan just isn't moving. It's like, it's going to sound bad potentially. The Caitlyn 03, she's nearly half farm. This is one of those games I would say you kind of just give up on the AD carry. I don't think this Caitlyn is very good. And I think I would just accept that and go, right, let's try to make the Astro do better. That's, I think, what I would do. I'm seeing if Velkos is coming in here, by the way. He's a bit of an odd player. There's three people again! <laughs> no! Why? <laughs> I can't beat three people constantly. Uh, Caitlyn's dead again. And Rakan is just stuck in the middle of our river, not doing either. He needs to decide. For me, if I was this Rakan in his shoes, abandon the Caitlyn. She's really bad. Abandon her. Try to even up mid lane a bit. I'm against three people actively in mid. Okay, if Rakan comes, then at least there's two people in mid. But yeah, this is another stomp, unfortunately. And re remember, it is worth knowing, this is League of Duo Q. But like, it is unfair at the beginning of the game. Like, the chances of us winning are so much lower than the enemy teams. There should not exist the game that the enemy team has two pairs of duos and we have none, but... Right in the infinite wisdom thinks that's okay. Oh, stop making me outnumbered the entire game. This is so lame. I can't even play the game. Do you want to get a knock up, Mr. Rakan? No. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I've been very much limited this game of being able to do anything because we've genuinely died two times against three people. There's not a lot you can do in that situation, no matter how good you are. Uh, look who's mid lane again, the Talon. This Talon just instantly comes mid lane every single fight. Nothing we can do. I'd say the Rakan abandoned Caitlyn a bit too late. Probably should have abandoned her a little bit earlier into the game. Oh well. I still can't believe he's rushing Titanic against Nalawi. That's just stupid. Ooh. Yeah, Ezreal's higher level than me because he's been left alone a lot. Bro, oh, this talent is really boring. He's just constantly mid lane the entire game. 
I don't think Talon's ganked anywhere apart from mid. Legit. I've been outnumbered the entire game. Oh well. There's nothing we can do. <laughs> Sorry everybody. I tried. I tried. Virtue is no more than a luxury. Follow the wind, but watch your back. Found this. Um. This blade never gets any. But I heard him into the brand. Oh, we got his flash. Right, where's the talent? I'm expecting Talon to be mid. My honor left a long time. Shen can't do anything to allow you with that build. Allow you just destroy him. Genuinely don't know why you would go that build on Shen anyway, but. Very weird to go against an Alawi of all things. Guess we just try to go for an all in. And died. Oh, look, there's the talent as well. Not fighting that, guys. That noise. Shiv rush. Oh god, this Caitlyn is so weak. I can't go for this Ezra. I think the uh, Velkos is just right there. So he'd be baiting me. Oh no, he went top lane. There's no damage. She does no damage with static Shiv, dude. If she had standard build, if she had standard build, if she had standard build, that Talon was dead. Damn. Damn it. Honor is in the heart. Cool. Here we go. This Velkoz has just done random, like, proper trolley. Yeah, I've just got a lot of golden shutdowns. Do I just go PD just for a completed item? No. Get some survivability, which still gives me crit, and then I go IE after that. If we can get to IE, obviously. Oh, that's crazy cockiness. Oh. I get him okay i misplayed i have to make plays because i'm the strongest on my team by far the problem that i've got is every every enemy on the enemy team is stronger even than me i think so if i go for a play we're fighting everybody that's stronger than me or the bare minimum the same strength but because of the way that the enemy teams played this game they're always grouping so i'm not going into one like find an ezreal by himself that was going for an Ezreal with a Talon and a Lowey also nearby. 
which makes it a bit complicated. Maybe. So the problem with Titanic Shen is after he's done his little burst there, there's not really anything else going on. Where's the wave? Where's the wave? This talent has been on my butt the entire game! <laughs> this guy must love me! The entire game this guy has been on me. <laughs> oh well. We put, uh, like, I'm, I'm gonna upload it because this is the Y game. I don't want to skip any more games. There's just nothing we can do. We've just been camped the entire game. Oh well. I had fun playing Yasuo at least. But my entire team has basically been gapped. So. And like, I've been massively limited in what I can do because I've just been outnumbered the entire match. Go, Rakan, please. Do something good once. No. Okay. Knock him up. Knock him up. Knock him up. Any knock up? Yeah! <laughs> we got him. Did I miss a knock up on the, the Velkos? I don't know if the Rakan did one on the Velkos. If I end this game, even KD, I'll be pretty happy with how much we've been focused. It shows the power if I wasn't focused. It is not yet time to die. I'll give you the easy one. Look like it. Oh. Wait, what? Wind will blocks things for four seconds, but it looked like it genuinely like got destroyed by Talonol. Shut down. I don't beat this Alawi, by the way. Way too strong. As Vlad doesn't have a single kill. Zero zero eight. That's Baron. Can't really do much about that. I don't really well allow you I guess you could be over there tanking it but mid lane two people are saying no straight away What are you doing? <laughs> this Caitlyn, a jet. Uh, preemptive Shenult that does no shielding. Remember, Shenult scales off missing health of the target that you're ulting. And if you're ulting someone at full health, it's a very small shield. My whole team just died. And I don't really know why. Okay. Um, GG. I'm gonna fight the Vlad. Well, 
That was fun. <laughs> There's another thing I could do. GG, I guess. Maybe if I had IE. Dude, this talent just one shots me. Uh, I'm gonna finish the game, even KD. For a... Whoa! He double taunted in a different direction. That was cool. It was useless, but it was cool. I didn't even know you could do that. I guess it makes sense that you can. Yeah, 0 8 Shen, 2 and 7 Caitlyn, 1 and 7 Rakan. This is a bit of a team gap. Hey, a few kills at the end, baby. There we go. Eh. If I was the Rakan, I would have given up on that Caitlyn a lot quicker into the game. Like, a lot quicker. Because, like,. You're not punishing... Well, the Velkos outroam the Rakan, and they, they're not punishing an Ezreal for being alone. So you may as well not be bot lane at all. Because you're not even punishing him for being there. So, yeah. That was a bit of a team gap. Again, the Shen going Titanic Rush against an Alawi with also running Ignite. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, we got demoted. We've lost so many games in a row. I think that's five losses in a row now. So with obviously losing 20 odd LP per game, that's over 100 LP we've lost. Ouch. And it really feels like there's not a lot I can do in these games. We properly got focused this game. Which sucks. Because it's annoying, because with how much I got focused, you'd think my team would be able to do okay, because they clearly had numbers elsewhere. Because there was always three people mid. But no. <laughs> Alas, no. Anyway. We're going to go on to our last game of the series, which hopefully will be a game of Zed. Oh, my snaps. Poison Skull comes in. That's a way to cheer me up at the end of this video. 18 gifted subs and actually manages to get us, I think, over 850, which breaks our goal, which means next week we'll be doing a hated champion stream, which I've committed. I will be playing a Katarina game in ranked. Has that actually done it? Wait, manage goals. I think we've done it. It just it needs to update itself. And also, Poison Skull, that brought you at 88 total Twitch subscribers, which means you are 12 away uh, from hitting VIP badge as well. Anyway, that's going to be it. Bit of an annoying game. Not much I could do. I was just getting outnumbered completely. But uh, hopefully the next game will be better. If you guys still enjoyed it, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Call down the reckoning.